In this section, we'll take a generic male model and morph his face so he looks like a rugged Asian tough guy. You will see how quickly we can achieve this desired effect, and how different the new face will look. To achieve this, we'll use a combination of symmetric and asymmetric morphing. When morphing the head, it is easy to accidentally affect the internal geometry such as the eyeballs, teeth, tongue, etc. We will therefore want to lock them. To do so, we'll simply use the picker tool and select the materials that we do want to affect like this. And then invert the selection by pressing the I key. Then we'll create a new layer by right clicking in the layer section and choose and create new layer. We will call this internal geometry and then click OK. Now if you click on this icon once we will lock all the polygons in that layer. If you click on it again they will all be hidden. Click on it once again will make them all editable but we want to keep them locked. Now we will start off by making the eyes more narrow. To achieve this, we will turn symmetry on, and then we'll turn culling off by clicking on none. We do this so the selection will go straight through the model so we can affect all those nooks and crannies within the eye socket. Now select the area around the eyes like this. Now, before pressing the S key to soften the selection, take note that the selection went right through the model. So we want to press the left arrow key to view the model from the side, hold Alt to remove the selection, and remove the selection from the back of the head. Now press the S key a few times to soften the selection. Then choose the scale deformer and unselect all directions except for vertical. Click somewhere in the center of the eye and then drag the mouse down until the desired effect has been reached. For now, press the Shift Space hotkey to enter Hot Selection View. Then choose the Selection Brush again, and hold the Alt key, and then remove all but the outer portion of the eye selection. Press the S key a few more times to soften. Then choose the Rotate Deformer, making sure that Tilt is checked, and rotate the, the eyes down a little bit. Our next step will to be given some higher cheekbones. Setting culling back to per vertex, select the upper cheeks in a triangle shape like this, and then hit the S key a few times. Now at this point you may be tempted to use the bulge deformer, however it may make the cheekbones too round and cartoony, so instead we'll simply use the move deformer to move the cheekbones a little up and out like this and from the left view slightly forward. Now let us do something similar to carve some definition in this jawline. Let's make a selection like this. Noting you can use the Alt key to remove the selection and the Shift key to add to it. Now press the S key a few times again to soften it. And we'll use the Move Deformer pinch that inward. Now from the left view let us flatten his nose a bit. Set culling to none and then select the nose like this making sure to avoid the cheeks. Again hit the S key a few times. Now we choose the scale deformer and make sure all directions except for horizontal are unchecked. Click at the base of the nose and drag the cursor down to flatten it as desired. Using the same selection, from the front view, widen the nose a little bit. Now let us select his entire jaw and a bit of his nose like this. And please note that uh, culling is set to none so we can affect all that internal geometry around the mouth area. Then use the Move tool to drag the whole thing down and forward a bit. Please note that all that internal geometry in the mouth is moving as well.
Now that you got the basic idea, I'm going to muscle through and finish off the general shape of the face. Please feel free to pause and rewind the video at any time to see what I'm doing. Now that the face is mostly complete and symmetric, we'll want to turn off the symmetry settings, giving the face some real character, since no real person is perfectly symmetric. Let's fatten up his lips a little bit, since this is a real tough guy. And some cauliflower ears, since he's probably been in a headlock or two. Now we're going to make one ear lower than the other. So notice we have culling set to none, so we can get to all those little nooks and crannies within the ear. And as we did before, after making that selection, we'll want to go and deselect the other side, holding the Alt key here. And returning to that view, we'll soften it a bit, choose our Move tool, and let's bring it down a little bit. Leave that from the front. Uh, maybe that's a little too much. Our next step will to be make that nose a little crooked since he's probably had it broken a few times. Being a tough guy and all. So we'll just take the move deformer again and just move that center selection over a bit. Beautiful. And for this last bit, we're going to give his whole skull a bit of a curve to it. Um, so, again, with calling set to none. And note that um, I've also relocked the internal geometry layer so I don't af affect any of his teeth or tongue or any of that business. So I'm selecting his jaw like this. Now go from the front. Now watch it. This is going to be subtle but really powerful. I'm going to curve the whole thing a little to the right and I'm also going to pull it down a bit notice how it's matching this curve with his nose as well and to suit since very few skulls are this symmetric everyone's got dents and bulges in them so on and so forth we will select a good portion of his skull here soften that give it a similar bit of a turn to it. And we're going to do a little more work with the eyes here. Now notice a slight rotation I'm going to put here on his eye, just to make this one just that much different from the other. Now this completes our tutorial. Now just as a little commentary, this asymmetric morph that we just did might seem a little odd to you, because we're so used to seeing perfectly symmetrical CG characters. Well, I'm going to encourage you to make your characters just that little bit asymmetric. Make the nose a little crooked, make the skull a little lopsided, because real people, no matter how attractive they are, they all have these asymmetries. So doing that little bit will give you that extra edge in making your characters look that much more realistic.